In this video, I am going to tell you guys about pharmacology, what is pharmacology, how to study pharmacology, and why in the world should you even study pharmacology. I am Rohit Pidya, a third year medical student in Madhuri Medical College. And in this channel, I make videos about these sort of academic videos. And alongside, I also make videos about productivity tips, spirituality, stoicism. So if this sounds like a cup of tea, then do hit the subscribe button. Alright, so let's jump into what is pharmacology. Pharmacology is the study of drugs that have a therapeutic action in our body. Everyone knows what is paracetamol. Like if someone has a slight fever, if their body temperature slightly increases, we immediately give paracetamol. So pharmacology is a very important subject. Now let me talk about the resources you should be using for pharmacology. See, your primary resource should always be a book. Like keep it in your mind that your primary resource should always be a book. So let's go with the various options you have for pharmacology. Capsum, KDT, Ranjan Sars book. These are the three options that I went through. I actually bought all these three books. Like initially, before second year started, I bought this Capsum. And once I got into second year, people told me that KDT was better. So I bought KDT. So I can tell you that I have a clear cut comparison between these three books. I can tell you clearly which book is good and which book is bad. Capsum is this humongous voluminous book. It is huge. It is actually a reference book. I thought that I would be able to complete the entire book uh, just alone, but actually it is impossible. It is, an, it is a reference book. You simply have to use it for reference. That's it. Going to KDT, KDT is like the standard book for uh, pharmacology. Uh, KDT is the book my dad used when he was studying pharmacology. So KDT is like the Bible for pharmacology. But uh, so for some reason, I didn't really like KDT, the way of presentation. There should be a way in which pharmacology can also be explained conceptually. I don't really feel like uh, KDT was trying to explain stuff conceptually. It is just giving a description about every single drug we are using. It is an amazing book, like it has all the data that you need, but uh, I don't really find it to be conceptually relevant. Uh, I am like focusing more on the concept because I believe that drugs will also change over time. Currently, we are like using paracetamol the whole time, but there might be a time in the future where paracetamol is like banned and we have some other uh, drug in use. So, I don't really believe that these drugs will be permanent. We'll be getting more effective drugs. We'll be getting more efficient drugs. We'll be getting more cost effective drugs. So drugs will change, but the concept remains the same. What is the effect of this drug? What is the effect of blocking H2? What is the effect of this particular drug sitting on this receptor in this particular organ? So that is the concept, right? I don't really think uh, KDT was really trying to emphasize on that part. So I didn't really like uh, KDT as well. And then uh, luckily I participated in this competition that in this quiz competition held by my seniors. And I got 4th uh, place and because the seniors liked me very much, they gifted me this uh, book. Uh, a senior of mine gifted me this book. And that was like a turning point in my life in pharmacology. It is an amazing book, like everything is explained conceptually. And some points about the various drugs will also be given, like it is an amazing book. So if you'd ask me which book I would be recommending for you, it will be a only, it will only be this one single book, Ranjan Sah's book, it is an amazing book. And the other resources are Mara Pharmacology and Sketchy Pharmacology. So Mara Pharmacology is this, this very same author. Ranjan Sir uh, is the person in Mara Faculty, is the Mara Faculty for Pharmacology. Simply amazing. He is, he is like, he is amazing. Like he is the best in pharmacology. There is no doubt about that. However, there is also Dr. Gobind Rai sir. He is also doing an amazing job. I have seen a few of his videos. They are also really good. So please don't go around on the internet typing. Uh, Ranjan sir versus Gobind Rai sir, don't do that. Both of them are amazing. They are like the topmost. That is why they are now currently the faculties in these topmost coaching institutes. So they both are amazing. We can definitely go for both of them. Pharmacology is lucky in this aspect. We have two amazing faculties for this. And Ran I chose Ranjan sir and he was extremely amazing. And uh, so I completed every single video on pharmacology of Maro. And I can tell you that my pharmacology knowledge is mainly through Ranjan sir. There's no doubt in that. And uh, finally, sketchy pharmacology. Sketchy is an animated uh, video mnemonic platform and they will be like giving mnemonics for the various drugs. That will also be extremely useful. I have completed all the videos in Sketchy Pharmacology. It is uh, exceptionally amazing. So these are the resources that are used. Now we are going with the next most important thing. That is, why in the world should you even study pharmacology? You know what, this time I am not going to tell you why should you study pharmacology. Let me know in the comments the reasons why you think that you should study pharmacology. So, in this video, I have talked about how to study pathology uh, in a similar interface. It will be definitely useful for you. And anyways, thank you for watching. See you soon.